YouTube. Welcome back to the Let's Play of the, Mag the Magical Shahrazad. Um, when we left off, we had just flown away from the first world after fighting the first chapter after fighting uh, the demon water demon Yoga, and now we're off to the desert world of Alert. So let's go. Chapter two: The Desert World Alalart. Listen to the people of the town, and as you notice, we are in a desert, basically. And one thing that's important about this world is you may have just noticed, I actually lost four hit points. Uh, you will take damage out in the desert, so actually let's get inside the town, because we cannot be damaged while we're inside the town. So here is the desert, the uh, first town. Uh, we got Speak act already activated, so let's just go ahead and talk to some people. The dark palace where Curly lives is across the maze desert. Ooh, so there's a, our newest demon is called Curly, and there's something called the maze desert. We're going to find out about that. Let's keep talking. Curly may also attack this town. Ooh, so Curly, Curly is kind of an aggressive monster. It seems like we may have to deal with this demon quite soon. This is Mallard. Oh, okay, so this is the town of Mallard. All right, uh, let's keep going. Talk to some people. Oh, <laughs> guess what these guys are going to do, folks? The fellow next to me mutes me. <laughs> okay, here's here's just a blatant reference to what I said before. These two say the same thing. The fellow next to me mim mimics me. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what this woman has to say. Defeat the demon Curly for mercy's sake. Okay, so they want us to get rid of Curly, so I guess we better do it. Oh, here's a mosque. Okay. You can't get out of the maze desert alive. Okay, so the Maze Desert is apparently a very dangerous place. Go west. There's Maze Desert. Go east and you'll reach Copanes. Okay, Cop Cop Compens? Cop Copanes? I don't know. I'll probably just say Copanes, just for uh, simplicity's sake. Uh, it must be another town. So to the west is the Maze Desert, and to the east is Copanes. What's this guy have to say? Z Z Zanab. <laughs> Zanab and Copanes knows more, more about Supica. Supica? What, what's Supica? Is that the, some kind of recipe? <laughs> okay, so we're already getting a lot of information, so... But what's this Supica? Let's talk to this person. No one but Supica can go through the maze desert. I was talking to the person sitting down, not the guy standing up. So nobody but Supica can go through the maze desert, so Supica's a person. You'll consume lots of, of the hit points outside of town. Outside of the town. So now I have to read that again. You will con Yep, you will consume lots of the hit points outside the town. Another uh, grammar error by the game. So let's keep going here. Only the flying monkey Supica in an old myth could get out of the maze desert. Okay, so Supica is a flying monkey. All right, but it seems Curly lives on somewhere in the maze desert or on the other side of the maze desert, and we need Supica to get through the maze desert. So we have to find out where Supica is. It says that someone named Zanab lives in Copanes to the east of this town, Mallard, who knows about Supica, so I think we need to head to Copanes. Spe listen to the people of the town. Okay, so let's get my flame ready. Let's head to the right here. Now, we're going to start taking damage, and we actually don't have any bread. Ooh. So, actually, I'm going to head back in town. I'm going to buy some bread, because if we, we, we can die. <laughs> We can die very, very quickly if we're not well equipped. So I think some bread is in order. So let's shop. Hello, hi, how may I help you? All right, let's shop. What would you like? Um, I'll take bread. Bread, they cost 20 rupees each. How many? Uh, since I'm not really sure if we can get a discount, I think I'm just gonna have to go for two and say yes. Two, they cost 40 rupees in all. Would you like to buy? Yes. Thank you very much. What else? Might as well just go. <laughs> um, actually, let me let me stop for a sec. There, you may have noticed that there was a loan function on that shop screen. I do have the ability to take out a loan from the shops in this game. I think it's a maximum of 400 rupees I can take out. And I can use that money to buy additional items and equipment, and I do eventually have to pay that back. The, from what I can remember from the manual, it does say that if you don't pay that back, the game can actually end prematurely. I've never actually seen that, and I, I'm not going to bother taking out loans. I'm, I'm going to play this game just, just straight up. I'm not even going to try to get additional funds or anything. I'm just going to play it as it lies. So uh, let's continue. 
Listen to, be, listen to the people of the town. Okay, but let's just head to the right. Got my flame ready. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, okay, now we're we're in the heat of the desert. Okay, ooh. So we gotta find Copen somewhere. Oh, okay, so these are pretty much falling boulders. I can't get hurt by these, so you gotta dodge them. Keep heading right. Um, okay, keep heading right. Okay, these... I was never exactly sure what these enemies are supposed to be, but apparently they're supposed to be some kind of bug. Okay. Oh, let's use my uh, flame on them. What? Hey, it's not working. Uh, I only have a small sword, a scimitar, but let's give it a try. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, now we're getting it. Okay, so apparently this... Only my sword is going to work on those guys, so I guess we should just keep moving here. Ugh. Yeah, this this different colored sand here, I always move slowly in this sand. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. We're in. Whoa! Okay, these are like a chameleon enemy, and I think it, the sword will just work on them. Ugh. Ugh, battles in this desert are rough. And you may have noticed I have 17 hit points. Uh, 16 hit points. So actually, I'm going to put up Pampu, and I'm going to restore myself here. Ugh. One thing's for sure, we can't stay out in this desert too long. Well, there's more of these guys. And you may have noticed, I'm getting four experience each from these guys, so they're not exactly worthless. Oh, and here's just some regular bandits I'll just cut up. So it definitely seems like right now my sword is a little bit more versatile in the desert than a rod. Fire was at 23. Use the magic of Oprin. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Oprin! And there's a door. Let's hop inside. I'm the wise man in this world. Oh, we found you already. I'm the wise man in this world. I shall use the power of the sacred blue star Archie and grant you the great magic of Raincom. Okay, so we now have a magic called Raincom. And you might be able to take kind of an intuitive guess as to what that might do, but I'm just going to leave it as a secret for now. And yes, we don't... Uh, that's something I didn't mention. Well, actually, I did partially mention it as it related to the battles and the formations. You don't actually need the university instructor's, instructor's instruction to use either great magic or the battle formations. You will automatically know those or be able to use them even if you were never instructed what they exactly do. Keep going here. Oh, more bandits. Let's fight. All right. Got rid of them. Let's, let's stick to the top here. Maybe that might be safer. Ooh! Boulders. So this, this desert is pretty dangerous. We gotta... Oh! And we leveled up thanks to that last slice. Uh, maximum hit points became 90. Maximum magic points became 84. Oh, nothing else special, but we did go up a little bit. Let's uh, slice and dice here. Okay, I actually have a call, so I'm going to stop this video here, folks. Okay, bye.